Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildred, and I am your Gaming Monk for the evening. This is day 14 of the RPG Day 2019 challenge, and today's word is guide. When I think of guides, obviously the main thing that comes to mind is strategy guides, but I want to focus a bit of time on something that I kind of hinted at in the past, but didn't fully explore. And that is the notion of gazetteers, and in-universe writing when it comes to writing out your setting. I think one of my favorite instances of this is in the Tome of Adventure book for Fantasy Craft, where one of the settings, an ostensibly Roman-esque kind of thing, talks about the glories in the various parts of the Empire, only to reveal that the, um, per that the person who's talking to is actually... Well, it talks about a kind of secret police and that person happens to be a member of, and you, the reader, happen to have been a, happen to have been a traitor. And you end up dead at the, end of, at the end of the story. It's a nice little way to integrate the, set, the setting with the overall tone. And I think those sort of gazetteers are something that I'd like to see more often. Not necessarily a setting book per se, but more of a means of writing as if you're as if you're reading these as if you're reading a more immersive take on that particular setting. And no, just the short stories that are in a lot of World of Darkness books, that doesn't quite cut it. What I'd like to see more of is as if you're getting some sort of guided tour of that setting. That's kind of what I was trying to do when I did the Zeitgeist video a few weeks back, but I'm not entirely sure if I managed to get it all there especially since there was so much I had to cover. It is, nevertheless, an interesting concept to go with. But another aspect of guides I want to talk about is the kind of build guides that I see very frequently on places like the Brilliant Gamesologist, sometimes on TG, and also on Giant in the Playground and other forums. I like this kind of thing because it does help bridge the gap between the between the newcomer and the pro when it comes to character builds. It also highlights how even a game like D&D 5th Edition, which is trying to be about must storytelling as much as it wants, still has a myriad of of people posting posting build guides, what is a good, what's good optimization, what's bad optimization. And normally that's something I would be I wouldn't have too much to say on, but I do find it kind of amusing that this is brought up in a game that wants to so badly be more about the storytelling than about the dice rolling. It's one of those cases of you can't run from your past no matter how hard you try. And I would like to see official build and optimization guides from RPG companies, and if I was running my own company, I'd probably do that myself. But I suppose I can understand why it doesn't happen often, because I think with the influence of D&D 3rd Edition, I think a lot of people still have that ivory tower attitude, and that's something that I just can't endorse. In fact, I distinctly remember agreeing with Routes when he, when he yelled at Monty Cook about that. 